Yes, time on American Bandstand, and once again, here's Dick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the man who's seated to my immediate right, Mr. Jimmy Castor, if you will. Welcome him. <laughs> Jim. That's very nice. That a nice, warm greeting. How many songs have you written? Oh, I'd say close to... Uh, Five or six hundred songs. You're putting me on. No, seriously. I've when do you have time? So there's 24 hours a day doing that. Yeah, right. But there's always time to write. You know, when you get an inspiration. You know. Is that when you do your writing? Yeah, you don't go I... to an office at nine o'clock in the morning, sit down, and write a song. No. Whenever I get an inspiration, I usually get them quite frequently. So <laughs> I write quite frequently. How long have you been working at your trade? Oh, about uh, seven years, seven eight years. You read music. Yeah. How many instruments do you play? I play every instrument except trumpet or trombone. Every instrument, vibes, everything. Is everybody in your family musically inclined? No one. Isn't that fantastic? No. You're the only one in the family that uh, turned out this way? That's right, no one. Did you write Leroy? Yes. If I move out of here and everybody else... Oh, you got the sax. You're the official saxophone holder today, huh? I don't, we have kind of an informal stage setup. I got a lot of spaghetti down here. Can I get this out from underneath your feet so I don't want you to fall over it? Is all of this mine, Dick? All this wire? Some of it's got to belong to you. <laughs> oh, there it is, yes. <laughs> Are you seeing what we're doing here? We're, a little thing going on down here. We'll clear this little spot in here. It's a humble stage, but uh, if you would, would you join us and do Leroy? I'd love to, I'd love to. Right, Ladies and gentlemen, if you will, Mr. Jimmy Castor. <laughs> hey, Leroy! Your mama, she's calling you, man. <laughs> Pretty good assistant over there. That's a bit of all right. 